Now in this class, there are a lot of different moving parts, okay? This is quite a step up from previous digital innovation classes as far as software goes. So you're gonna have to um, sort of get out of the Adobe zone, I guess, and uh, get this, this, uh, this extra software. Now all the software for this class is completely free um, and all of it is at the highest professional level. So um, you are gonna still need those Adobe softwares that you have installed from previous classes. Just keep those installed. In particular, you're probably gonna be using a little bit of Photoshop, possibly a little bit of Illustrator, but more than likely um, just Photoshop. So we'll be using that once we get to uh, texturing within uh, our 3D models. But for now, what you need to do is there's two links in this lecture video. Um, and you need to visit this Autodesk website. Autodesk is a huge software company that makes uh, basically like all of the industry standard 3D tools. Um, on their education page, which is what I linked to, you just click free software and you can see all the different free pieces of software you can get, but we want to get Maya. Now what's really important here is that we want to get regular Maya, not Maya LT, just Maya. You can choose the 2019 version, the 2018 version, doesn't really matter to me. You need to create an account. It's very basic. Um, it'll ask you for your school. You can type in Arkansas State, but it's, it's not gonna appear uh, on the list, but you should be fine. You'll have a free account for three years. So as long as you, you know, use it, you have the account. It's great. I've ne personally never had to pay for Maya. I've always been able to use a free account of it. So now the other thing, Another consideration is that you probably want to get a mouse for this. If you have a laptop with a trackpad, this is going to be a little bit tricky. It's a lot easier if you have a three button mouse, a mouse that has at least three buttons, meaning it has a right click, a left click, and a middle click, or a scroll wheel. The reason for that is because once you actually get inside Maya, um, it's a little difficult to navigate around the interface with a trackpad. So I'm using a trackpad right now, and it's, it's pretty tricky. I also would highly advise you not to use um, like a magic mouse, like Apple makes those like magic mice that have like uh, finger gestures. Those are really awful in Maya. Um, definitely look at getting a three button mouse if you don't already have one. Uh, you can try to use the trackpad for a little bit, but like I said, it can get pretty difficult. It's gonna be much easier to learn on a three button mouse. So you'll sign in, you'll download, you'll install, you'll have to sign in again pretty basic. Then we have Unity. Unity is our game engine, which is also free. It's completely free as long as you make less than $100,000 a year from your video games. And of course, we're not making $100,000 a year from our video game. So you can visit this website, check this box, and go ahead and download the installer. Um, it's pretty basic, really basic setup. You just hit download and install, and that's it. So get Unity, get Maya, Get those all set up on your computer and we'll start using them next week.